So firstly, go to the pull down menu in the georeferencing box and select the Google Earth file. It is already selected. Now we're going to zoom to the image that we just were on. And in the georeferencing toolbar, we are going to click the button add control points. This is the tool with the two X's and an arrow. And we are going to start by clicking the top left corner of the image. Scroll in. I like scrolling pretty much as far as I can go. One to two hundred is pretty good, 250. Click right in the center of it. Now without clicking again, go to the four corners in the table of contents. Right click it, go to zoom to layer, and it should clip directly to this point. If not, zoom in again, but it should. And left click again, boom, done. You'll notice it changes. The top left hand corner of our image is now associated with the top left hand corner of the four points. Let's do it for all the other corners. So right click in the table of contents on our Google image, zoom to layer, let's do the top right now, zoom in as far as we can, Oops. use the scroll key because you won't be able to pan, click and drag with this tool, scroll in, click, without clicking again, right click on four corners, go to zoom to layer, and click the top right. If you make a mistake at all while you're doing this, you can delete a link by going to the link table, view link table, in the georeferencing toolbar, and select the link you want to delete. One, two, three, or four, they all have numbers on them. And then just click this button here, which means delete, or you can probably, you no, know, just click the delete button, and then you can redo it. But we like all of the points we've made, we've done them correctly, we're going to close out of this. And we are going to go to the link table again, make sure that auto adjust is selected. We are going to exit out of this, go to the georeferencing toolbar again, click on the georeferencing drop down menu, select update display, and all four corners should be in alignment. Let's go to the full extent and check it out. We've done it. Now we have to save this image, this new georeference image. So we will go to georeferencing, click rectify. We will put it, make sure it's in the tutorial shapefiles folder, wherever you want to put it. We'll call it Google Image 2 or Google Image Ref, so we know it's the referenced one, georeference one. Click save. Great, let's open a new blank arc scene file. Say okay. Open up our folder. We're going to import the, or drag into the view screen, the raster and the reference, geo reference Google image. And they should overlay, which they do. Now we're going to go to the properties for our image. So we're going to right click on Google image, go to properties. And we have to change the base height. So go to display, go to base heights, float on custom surface, and our custom surface is the raster. And say OK. And now your Google image should be three dimensional. Sure is. Lastly, we are going to add trees to cut block edges in ArcScene. So in ArcScene, activate the 3D graphics toolbar. Go to Customize, Toolbars, 3D Graphics, lock it up here. Go to the Graphics pull-down bar and select Default Symbol Properties. Click Marker, click Style References down here, 
and go down to the box next to oh, 3D trees. There it is. Check that and say OK. There we go. And now we've got trees. We can change the size of our trees. I think I like change them to about 30. You can just do that manually. Say OK. Say OK. And you can now add trees to our scene. Now we can do this by hand or you can see what the edge of a cop block might look like by inserting a feature class into here. Let's say you just want to see what a row of trees along the shoreline looks like. We're going to go to our graphics toolbar right here, click that, and if we click along the shoreline we will get little trees popping up along the edge. I'm not going to do this whole row now because this will take forever, but let's say want to see what it looks like from the other side of this body of water. You can pan over to the other side, click set observer point. And see what it looks like from over here. 